Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legend today on FBG. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely selling that. Um. Yeah, definitely not like full overbuilding. I'm gonna keep the Birdman, I think. God shall be same line as Risley. If anyone remembers that. There uh, might be like four people. A little man. Um, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. I just played the disciple guys, really. As far as I know. Anyway, straight line is deliberate because Dwarf Fighter is not good at um, not good at staying in front and Birdman, or not good at like walking up to damage share. Uh, but Birdman needs to take damage to actually get its echo spell off. Otherwise it doesn't do jack. So I definitely want to be pushing this game. Probably need me 10. Hopefully don't need me 7. But it is Aqua Watcher Disciple, so... You know, we'll see. Alright, two lanes leaking. Three lanes leaking, Polo with the Corrupted End. There's the third lane. Maybe Marnie. Two ten value. Right, I mean, this gets a lot of fade, but depending on the ads, um, we may or may not care. Just build the tribesman here, because it's um, better than one dwarf fighter. They want to send here, and I should still be relatively fine through. I don't think I go half male for three though. I'd rather go um double door fighter and T1, I guess. Like the downside of Trisman here is my build's a little bit awkward for three, but I think it's a unit I'm generally interested in having, seeing as it's one of the better units in my roll for ten. Like I mean I'm if I'm overbuilding ten on this roll, because it's um fifty. It's uh, tries and throw basically with. Oh. Anyway, Spurman takes a lot of damage, but as I said, it doesn't actually. The spell only works when it takes damage, so you still kind of, you do kind of need it to get hit, unfortunately. It's just a bit of an awkward placement with the dwarf fighter. I wonder if I want... I think this is Thrall's spot here though, so... I think we'll leave it. I wonder if I want to put it there, kind of. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm gonna add one to one, I'm not gonna add two. Oh, 
I am going to need to overbuild if they don't send here, unfortunately. Okay, Bloodhawk Spirit. Bloodhawk Spirit is honestly probably going to hurt. Holy shit, Birdman. Brother, you went a long way in front. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's a bit too far in front. Stop hitting the Blood Orc. I need you to kill creeps, not the Blood Orc. Ay -ay. That's uh, more than I should be leaking. Holy crap. I wanted the Birdman to, like, take some hits, not walk into the middle of the wave. Um, so that's unfortunate. I don't know how much we need to save it. I don't really want to do ups. Especially when green has um, 200. Alright, still gonna have to overbuild here because I did pretty badly, so we're a bit vulnerable to reset now. We're a lot vulnerable to reset now, so gonna have to be trying to do a bit better against next send. So they see a bit of AoE, no mids. Just gonna grab this, I think. Job's done. Yeah, it should be fine. Probably a pretty good third disciple game. I am prepared. Someone yeah. I no more push for me. Not necessarily mid five like this. Depends on how much they send. What's the plan here? Not sure. Is he pushing or is he getting like a thingy? Is he going to six? Looks like it. Interesting. Forty nine. Gonna bounce this wisp. We'll see. One mid? No. It's a big mid. Probably big enough where they just send five. I actually wasn't the lane that got fed on one. I guess that was the lane that leaked really uh, slow though, so that should have been Komodo... Komodo Ranger. Hmm, I don't think we have no hold though. We're not great five though. We didn't force enough ups to be great five, and it's quite a bit of time, so. I'm just gonna drop another regen in, honestly. They did, yeah, they didn't do much, King, though, no. to attack, and I think it's zero regen.
Let's see. One regen. I was hoping to afford second alpha male, but that's right. Just go more uh, frontline stuff then. Okay. Yeah, without second alpha, I'm definitely a bit weaker here. I'm not expecting good things from my line, unfortunately. Be interesting to see how this does. Right. Maybe Birdman will carry. It's possible. I think it's super likely, but it's possible. That is Furb and three spirits. Hmm, second alpha, and I think I was easily mid, because no blood orc makes alpha a lot better. <laughs> Let's see, this Furb hasn't done much yet, so that's good. As long as it doesn't hit the alpha. God damn it, Furb. Maybe it's still fine. Okay. Small mid. Somewhat annoying focus wise, but I mean, it wasn't that bad really. Can't push too much since we have Thorn Mail. I think I'm actually just staying 5-1. One more regen now. I'll wait for it to land on a nice number. 90 to 13. No, they did like three more regen now. Okay, we'll be good to go. One more wisp then. Upgrade that alpha. Eh, actually, one more wisp doesn't get me a lot, and getting the war chief is convenient. Do I get the war chief anyway? Probably not. Let's just get the war chief then for seven. Because I definitely need a throw for ten. I guess two throw would be really nice. That doesn't seem particularly achievable. I went mid every level with that though. Actually, I didn't go mid on seven with that. But I went mid on five and ten. With like Aqua Tribesman, which is not a build that I think is good, but I don't know. Like sometimes you just gotta overbuild. Been overbuilding too much recently though. Not even like in spots where I think it's bad or doesn't make sense. Just like I'm I'm not playing that many games at the moment. So um It just feels like most of the ones I have played recently have been overbuilt, which is kinda boring. So it's Cobalt. Cobalt is really good against Pierce. I'm just getting from it. Yeah, I don't think I reach, um, I don't reach for Gobold. And it's going to be a bit messy. Alright. 
It looks okay in the end. They submit. Okay. Obviously, be fine versus that. I'm more overbuilt than I need to be. But yeah, one wisp versus actually afford the war chief. Seems like actually affording the war chief is um, what you want to be doing. Six one into seven four is rough, but <laughs> is that spell? Is that shockwave or stomp? Do a attack up before I get the next wisp in. Minus one spell. Okay, we're losing one here. We're it's annoying but acceptable. We take the second. Yeah, we should do. I think I'm just seven two for ten. Mm hmm. Yeah, am I? I'm pretty good 10. I can go 7-3. Pretty sure I'm still mid 10 with 7-3. And I don't think being bigger mid does much. Not being mid would suck. I like Door Fighter on 10. It's pretty tanky. I'm not too bad against Warlock. They're pretty good against Bandit, again, just because they're tanky. I think this is a 7 3 for me. Does this roll give much? Monkey, eh? Hmm. Don't think it does a lot. He's leaking here, unfortunately. This should be holding. I am prepared. Enlighten me. Come on, like, we can try Kobold. That's alright, like, it's always... I mean, at some point when shit gets changed, you gotta, you gotta cook it, or you're never gonna know. Yeah, it is receives 70% damage, not 70% less damage. But still, like... Nothing wrong with chefing. So, yeah, 310 HP versus 640. It's not a very good look for Kobold compared to Fanda, honestly, all things considered. It does look like Panda is just more efficient on paper, but... Um, you know, it might be a case of like having more Kobolds is meaningful, or maybe... Panda is too easy to snipe with melee units, but like Kobolds having a little bit of extra range. Um, potentially meaning that they're not getting hit by melee units, but are getting hit by range units. Question mark? Like, I don't know. But, um, yeah, as I said, you gotta. Someone's gotta try it sometime. And obviously, you can't really make a complete judgment on whether it's good or not off one game either, but it can help you kind of get a sense of when it's good and when it's not. Yeah, I could have stayed 7 2, but I don't think it does much for me. Could be wrong. If I don't go mid, it's bad. If I go mid, it's good. 
Because I don't think... Um, basically, I think I can get away with 7-3 here. So we're Decent King, 2 heals, Thorn Mail. And as long as I'm going mid anyway, it's fine. Of course, I need to actually go mid anyway. And if I'm not doing that, then my 7-3 is pretty bad. But I made the judgment that I can get away with it. It's... I mean, it's not risk-free. Even a small leak uh, kind of sucks because no one else is trying to damage. I'm really surprised it's not trying to damage. But... Oh, many kobold. I'm down to cook. Three kobolds. Oh. Man, I can't. That seems like no mass at that point. Am I getting my furb covered? Someone should do my fucking furb. Look at the push on my team. Someone should be doing my furb. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how these kobolds do. Like, I don't mind the sort of theory. So, on paper, they look worse than Panda, right? But, I'm thinking that, like, maybe the, um, yeah, maybe the 120 range means that it just won't get attacked by, like, the Trident or the Cavalier or even, like, the Magnetor, right? But it might, or will get attacked by like the spider and the night saber, right? So it actually might be able to use its um, use its ability more effectively than the panda. Quick movement, that's kind of scary. And it's also um, an assassin send, so it comes a bit later. Double panda. Um, I don't mind double panda. I don't mind double panda at all. Uh, it's a little more annoying when my melee stuff doesn't attack the double panda. And my focus kind of exits. What am I doing? Please don't Stormbolt the Archer, at least. Okay. Hmm. Focus was pretty whack there. The dwarves when um none of them actually stayed sort of around the wall, which is where I wanted them. But this is like kind of okay, honestly. But considering the send wasn't that good versus me, I'm a little disappointed. Still, shouldn't die. Two heals thorn. It is nine healthy bosses, so I guess we're losing both the heals. Even though we have a decent king. Hmm. They don't look too bad here, so I definitely don't hate breaking all four lines. Minus three. They're gonna go minus four as well. No. Oh. Should just be 14 race then. Well, I'm still pretty good 14. Should be like quite good 14 actually. I 
don't know. We might um we might watch the replay quickly at the end and just try and have a look at how the kobolds might have done. Just for, you know, sake of interest. I'm gonna stay 7-4 at this point. Double stock 7-3 is good for us. I'm like relatively fat. Not gonna spend um I'm just gonna bank the 150. Can't really spend it. Blues lane is high income value is okay, has a thrall turret. Um <laughs> nice. I wonder if that's making a difference. It probably still isn't. Okay, now it got netted so it's not its fault, but like yeah that, that trident wasn't helping, was it? Even the AFK Trident plus Commander of Optimism wasn't enough. Yeah, but like I can I can spend gold here, but it's not changing anything. And um, spending gold here is really bad for my lane. Just need maximum thrall. So actually, I have some damage on Fordane, as well as tankiness, but damage. I right, get rid of those. So, uh, ooh, Tara Magna. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he got a million fucking gold on level one. Of course. Of course he's fat. Kind of, like, forgot how that happened. Yeah, that's a problem. All right, this guy's really bad on 14, though. This guy has a lot of pierce backline. He's not terrible on 14. And the melee eye is annoying. I don't know, I think it's 14. Both teams are heals. Pretty sure we die 14. As it stands. I would think we don't live 14 as it stands. Pretty sure we're just sending there. Or we should just send there. Because I'm thinking I go mid 14. No one else does. On our team. Thinking that blue and teal both are possible mid 14. I guess the other option is no leak, but it's no leak into like. Like nothing seems good. Like 16 doesn't seem good. Um, they actually look pretty good. 16, 17 is just. I don't like the look of it. Um, do we die 14? Pretty sure we just die 14. I don't mind going 15, but I think we might want at least one level of no leak if we're doing that. I think we're disrespecting 14 at the moment. Hmm, maybe, but our values are fairly underwhelming. I think we're just one mid zero heals we can die, but maybe I'm wrong. And maybe like uh, green and pink are doing better than I'm doing better than I'm giving them credit for on 14. I will say the other reason I don't really like 15 is I suck 15, so. Don't really want to play on my weakest level. Okay, so I pause because you have people at the door, but you're like still sitting at your computer. Okay, that was a whole roller coaster right there. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm bad 15, so I don't really want to play for the level I'm bad on when we have no one that's mid-15. And again, I think they have possible old blue teal reroll dependent. 
I mean, I can look at my 50 as well, but um, I'm just hoping. At that point, if I'm if I'm taking the fifty and looking for any fourteen, any fifteen, pardon. So what am I doing then? How am I building? Am I dropping to War Chief? Maybe even a uh, half raid. That sounds like what I'm doing at the moment. Because if if it is fifteen, I need just any damage. Currently on 15, I can't kill centaurs. They're leaking as well. They certainly don't have to leak. I think I'm banking gold 13. Is that troll? Do we die 13? The answer might be yes. I don't like that the answer might be yes, that we die 13. Mine, we can skip 14 if we want, but seems pretty difficult to survive. We can try it anyway, though. Just um, play a bit risky. I don't hate it. Like, it feels pop. I don't know. I, th I think we die, especially because um, with this build, he's definitely he's got at least one unupgraded monk. Um, which is making him a bit weaker 14. Did they kill us in? No. Okay, thank god I don't get punished for banking. I'm just banking because I, like, I don't know what level we're playing for at the moment. Makes it hard to make a decision. Because if we're playing for 15, I need to look for 15. If we're, if we're sending 14, obviously I'm just anti-14. Um, eh, I'm mid-14. I'm just concerned that isn't enough. But okay, no leak here. You can actually still die 14. But we can play around it like we don't now. That's pretty good. Don't worry, so with the rest, one talk is good for me. I don't need two talks. I think one talk is actually pretty reliably going to explode on this end level, though. Uh, especially when I built it like I do, you see it runs pretty far in front. Hopefully similar sort of thing is going to happen on 15 and it tanks really hard and blows up nice and early. See if there's even a leak here. I can't full build. That's annoying. Do 
job's done. I had a zombie for a debuff. Because it spends the gold. Skip thing is kind of risky from them. They weren't that good. Okay, well, if they live, we should uh, sell. Who's next captain by Elo? Me. I think that seems fair. Pretty sure we're not living there next end. Because we're not particularly fat. Should be... I mean, yeah, we, like, we're just dead 17. So I think it's a reasonably fair compromise to say, like, hey, we'll play the level out. If you're dead, then we'll take the win. If you're surviving, you get the win. Because just, like, drawing on the pause this is really just the it's boring for everyone i think but it also feels it's like a bit um it's somewhat unfair if i was like no play the level and if you die then we take the win and if you don't die it's a draw it's just like well really fair. If I want the draw, I should draw on the pause. Would be like the way I view it. Yeah, I was more than happy to sell that one if they survive here, but they don't. Ends up working. I'm surprised they skipped though. The, yeah, didn't make a whole lot of sense that they skipped, just because they should have had more lumber than us. Um, Certainly more lumber than me, and I still managed to get the send in, even though it was a bit awkward on the build, because I um. Didn't have enough for Demon Crack and Beam at the end farm. I had to skip the farm. But yeah, cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys are legends. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.